Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Okay, we're going to look at the three options that you have if you have 100,000 T fuel, and that can really be any number, but we're just going to use 100,000 in, in this example. You basically got three options. You can remain liquid and not stake it, in which case if the price goes up and you want to take profits, you can instantly sell it and capture your profits. Or, because you're not earning any income from it when it's not staked, then the other option would be to stake it to an Elite Edge node where you're going to earn about 8% percent a year on your T fuel okay the downside to that is of course if you decide the price spikes and you decide you want to sell it it takes three days to unstake your T fuel so that you can sell it and there's no telling what the price is going to do during that three days while you're waiting the third option is put it in the liquidity pool in the liquidity pool you're going to earn 50% APR minimum and it's liquid because you can take it out of the LP anytime, no delay, and sell it if you want to capture, take profit. However, the liquidity pool, the way it's designed, it's designed to encourage you to stay in the liquidity pool. And basically what that means is when you're in the liquidity pool, not only are you earning 50% on the value of it, but if the price doubles, for example, the rewards that you're earning, which are paid daily, those rewards go up with the increase in the value because it's calculated every 10 minutes and it's based on what the value is at that 10 minute point. So the reward is the APR 50% divided by 365 to give you the daily percentage and then that's divided by 144 to give you the percentage that you would earn every 10 minutes and then the amount the math is done and the algorithm figures out how much t-bill that would be and it gives you that amount of t-bill and it accrues all day long through the 24-hour period and then at midnight utc it actually pays that out to your wallet and you can do whatever you want to with it once it's in your wallet you can reinvest it into the lp increasing your rewards or you could just turn it into t fuel or whatever you want to do with it but in my view the option of putting it into the lp is the best option of the three it gives you the ability to capture your profits if that's what you choose to do because you're not locked into the lp there's no delay in pulling your liquidity out of the lp if you should decide that you want to sell it because the price of T fuel doubled. But you're really beneficial to leave it in the LP because as the value of your T fuel goes up, so does the rewards that you are getting. So why would you want to pull it out and take a one time profit when you could leave it in and take profits every day on the increased value? That's my viewpoint. Well, that's a wrap for this presentation, so cue the music. So I have a fairly conservative approach. I've got 10,000 Theta staked to a Guardian node, and I've got 200,000 T-Fuel staked to an Edge node, and then I've got a substantial amount of T-Fuel in the Theta Swap LP. So I'm pulling conservative and I'm pulling aggressive from the liquidity pool. And uh, this is not financial advice, but I think that that's a decent approach to multiplying your investment. Some people want to be a little bit more aggressive and put a lot more into the LP. And uh, that's fine if that's the level of risk that they are comfortable with. I'm a little bit more conservative in, in my approach and you know I have to discuss these things with my financial advisor aka my wife and we come up with a decision based on what we're both comfortable with so that's the way it is
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me. And I'll see you in the next video.